Pardon me. More tea, Vicar. YouTube, X-Files 2708 here again, and hopefully this is the uh, the final tagging video that, I, that, uh, that I'll have to do, uh, for some time anyway, so I've uh, done two, two in the last two days, and this is the third one, this is um, tagging by a guy called Tame Fan, a uh, fairly new subscriber to my channel, so great guy, check him out, uh, right, facts then guys, my little, uh, my little, little YouTube book, to, uh, to, to help me remember what I need to say. Um, first of all guys, I've got one tattoo. Um, big into tribal tattoos. Um, so that's on my upper left hand arm, uh, tribal tattoo. Um, like I say, big big fan of tattoos. I uh, had my first one, or my only one, probably done a couple of years ago. Um, I've got a very, very high pain threshold. So. Um, you know, when I had the tattoo done, it um, you know wasn't uncomfortable or painful at all. Um, so since I found that out, I've been really you know trying to save some pennies to uh, to get some more tattoos done. Um, at the moment, as well as um, uh, tribal tattoos, I'm into biomechanical tattoos. So if, if you look at that sort of thing on the net, guys, you get um, some sort of an idea. And what I'm looking to hopefully do is to uh, save enough money to get a full back tattoo done. Uh, but uh, obviously that's probably going to be, you know, maybe four or five sessions of, um, you know, potentially three or four hours of time, something like that. So it's going to take quite a bit of time and quite a bit of money to do. And, um, you know, I'm one of these people that will look around the internet and books and stuff for ideas for ages and ages. I, you know, I, I don't like cheap looking, tacky tattoos, stuff like that. So it's got to be a, a real good one. So, you know, once I found the one that... Um, that I want then that's what I'll go for and uh, that's what I'll get done so uh, watch this space on that one uh, next one I've got um, three children three boys and uh, and a stepson uh, so my, my eldest boy is uh, four you'll have seen him on uh, the video I uploaded earlier today uh, my middle one is two years old three in October and my youngest is, uh, is just nine months so as you can imagine, we've got our hands full there. The uh, the stepson's 16 as well, so uh, you know we've got uh, terrible twos, terrible fours, uh, a teething uh, nine-month-old trying to uh, trying to walk and talk, and a and a stroppy teenager to boot. So it's uh, it's an interesting household, guys. Let's <laughs> let's put it that way. Um, next one, um, I don't eat fish, and I absolutely detest tuna. Uh, I can't smell tuna, you know, not alone eat it, uh, without feeling uh, incredibly ill. So uh, that came about after um, after I left home, probably, you know, probably, blimey, when did I leave home? Probably 18, 18 19 years ago, something like that. Um, and uh, my, my mum, mums being mums, did, uh, did, did me like a, you know, a, a bag full of, you know, uh, one bowl, one plate, uh, a couple of spoons, knife and a fork, and all that sort of thing. Bless, bless her, um, and, and like a little food food parcel sort of thing for me. And uh, in that parcel was um, a tin of tuna because I did eat tuna at the time. Um, and uh, I think a couple of months after moving in with uh, with my mates, it was a shared house. Um, I decided I'd I'd have myself a tuna sandwich. Uh, and I think there must have been a hole in the tin or something because that night I was incredibly ill. I've never been so uh, so violently sick in my whole life. Uh, you know, not even after sessions on on cider or rum and coke and things like that. So uh, since then I've never been able to even stomach the smell of tuna. Um, and like I said, I don't don't eat fish either. So um, no, big no nos for me that one. Uh, you can tell I'm running out of ideas now, guys, because I think this is. Uh, this will be fact number 14 coming up. Uh, my first console was uh, back in the, the late 70s, early 80s. It was the Atari 2600 Woody. And uh, the first game I played on that was Berserk. So I remember, I think we got that for... Me and my brother got it between us for uh, for a Christmas present one year with Berserk and Combat. And uh, had many, uh, many a happy hour playing on, uh, playing on that. Hence that was my first, um, my first console I brought when I got back into retro gaming. Um, and fact number five, or 
token fact number 15 coming up guys um, I'm, um, I, I love my gadgets as probably a lot of you guys do as well but uh, my problem is I'm an impulse well I wouldn't say an impulse buy but once I've made my mind up and done my research I want something um, I have to get it as quickly as possible I don't I'm not one for for saving money for you know six months or something to buy it I've got to buy it you know within a few days of deciding that's the item I want uh, you know whether it be a a new mobile phone, a new um, flat screen TV, laptop, computer, whatever. If I decide I want it, once I've done all the research and that, then uh, I have to buy it as quickly as possible. I'm like a, a, a kid in a candy shop once uh, once I've decided what I buy. So gen generally, because I'm not working uh, these days because of my disability, um, then uh, you know I've got quite a few gadgets. Oh, you know, from when I was working, etc. Because you know I was in quite. Uh, quite a high paid job where I was and um, so uh, you know I, I tend to sell something that I don't uh, don't really use anymore to uh, to buy something else so you know recently I've sold um, my Sony Blu-ray player uh, and I think I own that for probably about six months before I sold it so I go through phases of liking and not liking things uh, but I had a, a Blu-ray player uh, attached to my uh, my home cinema, um, home theatre PC, so that wasn't a problem. Uh, recently sold my Nintendo Wii, um, but that's because I'm, I'm getting a new car in a couple of months' time, so I needed to uh, to raise some money towards the deposit for that. Um, but um, yeah, like, like I say, you know, it's just something. I'm, I'm I'm like a big kid. I can't wait for for, for things once I've made my mind up that uh, that I want them. So that's um, that's another five facts, guys. So fingers crossed, no more tagging, um, or well, certainly for the time being, anyway. So I've I've made a note of things in my little my little blue YouTube book now. So uh, if I do get tagged again, I know what I've already said. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do now, rather than tag another five people, because I've tagged ten people already, I'm just going to give a quick, um, quick few shout-outs uh, to, uh, to to some of my really good friends. So uh, you know, I mean, uh, I think I'm on 110 subscribers. So uh, you know, a lot of you guys are really do classes uh, as really good friends. So you know, there's a good bit of banter going backwards and forwards, and you know, we have a good, uh, good chunter and and a lot in common. So. Um, but here's, here's ten people I've just chosen quickly off uh, off my subs list to uh, to give a shout out to. So first of all, I'll just go through them quickly and then I'll list them in the the info box on the side. Uh, first one, don't move, Phoenix. Uh, next one, Ian Wilson, nineteen seventy eight. Uh, next one, Lefarius. Next, Cessna Race. Uh, next one, Layback Retro Gamer. Uh, next one, Viper twenty nine. And closely followed by his brother, the real Agabon. Have a great, uh, great laugh with him sometimes. Uh, my good friend Madaka 350. Uh, next one, Gamer Pigeon. And last but definitely no means least, one half of the sketch. So there's ten there. What I'll try to do, because I'm doing quite a few videos lately, is uh, do a few shout outs on, uh, on on some more of my videos. So uh, hopefully get uh, get you you guys some uh, some new subscribers on the way. So. That's, uh, that's it from me anyway for now guys, so uh, I'm going to be doing a couple of gameplay videos tomorrow, all being well. Um, uh, all being well as well, I've got a, one console on the way, fingers crossed the auction's due to finish tomorrow, but I'm quietly confident that, uh, that, that I'm going to get that, so uh, look out for that one guys, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be a good one. Uh, but from this weekend, I'm away for a week on holiday, so... Um, very very limited access to um, to internet so uh, you know we'll see see how things go but uh, yet yeah, unfortunately you'll see a, a dry week from me for um, for YouTube videos so but I'll, I'll certainly aim to make up for it when I get back and uh, who knows while I'm on my holidays I might, uh, might end up doing a bit of retro shopping just to uh, feed the habit so to speak so uh, we'll leave it there guys, so thanks very much for watching and uh, as always I'll put up another video soon. Bye for now.